transparent water color is. Mm -hmm. I don't want so much like the opaque effect. Mm -hmm. So I try to create the, keep the transparency in my work. So um guys, there's some watercolors I know that they they would um they have no problem using a lot of white paint to overpaint areas and so on. Mm -hmm. I don't like the effect of all the white paint on in my work, so I try not to have to do that. If I have to to rescue a piece, well fine, but I try not to have to do it, do it. So I try to be a bit more cautious. So I, I'm not as adventurous with color. Although I do change colors, I don't always take the local color. Um, it's not as with oil and acrylic. It's not as forgiving a medium. So it keeps me honest in a sense. Know that you you got to really be focused, and that's why I, I really do paint when I'm not in the mood, um, especially messing around watercolor. Because if I'm not in the mood and you, you end up doing foolishness, then after you would have do a fairly concise sketch to start to paint, you know, you, you, you end up now having these sketches spoil or whatever. So if I'm not in the mood, I really don't go messing around. That brushes is that you can get good sharp lines, you can cover large areas as well. And uh, have you noticed I have like bigger, bigger flat brushes as well. So if I cover large, large spaces, and if I have to wet the paper, you can control the edges better. The round brushes are good for certain effects. Uh, one good large, fairly large round brush is, is ideal. Um, but I, most of the small round brushes I have are like for signing my name and that sort of thing, or certain little bits and pieces of detail. But I, I somehow got to like the larger brushes, flat brushes, and so I tend to stick to them now. But again, I'm always flexible. And I mix colors sometimes on the paper, as well as the palette. Because I have no rules. For me, painting is fun. Painting is supposed to be fun. And um, I try things. I, I have fun. When something works, you, you, you feel good, you have fun. When it don't work, you don't feel as good, but <laughs> if you have fun, that's just something to enjoy. You learn from the pieces that are not as successful, you, you learn from them. When you sit down, you tend to sit and you get so comfortable. So you're not stepping back from the work to really see, see it in, in, in its true sense. Huh? But from, from close, you're seeing detail, and you're working on detail, which looks nice and so on. You're trying to get the details to look perfect. But you stand back from a from a distance, a lot of that detail is lost. It's not you realize it's not really so relevant. But uh, if you're standing up from the beginning, you can um, step back and step back, and you can see the work in progress. And you realize that a lot of the detail that you think is necessary isn't really absolutely necessary. And so, because um, also you look at um, a painting, you have a painting hanging in your home on the, on the wall. You're sitting and you're eating, and you're looking at the painting. Most times you look at the painting from a distance. You don't really go close to the painting, to, you know. So. Um, a painting in its true, true settings is going to be seen from a, a distance anyway. Mm -hmm. So you try to gauge that distance as you work and and, and that's how I, I approach my work. So you just have to be yourself, stay true to yourself and that's why I've always done my artwork. I've always Painted the subjects I like, painted in the styles I want to, the styles that mean something to me. And I've never been the least concerned about the other person's opinion. But that's just me. I grew up in the child houses all my life. I will work with the child houses until they are no more. And who do I like that? Learn to love it. You will get over it. But that's where I am. You saw my profile that says uh, my, boy. my artist statement. I paint how I want, I paint whatever I want and how I like will not subject myself to the dictates of any art oligarchy. Because sometimes you can feel that there's an oligarchy that wants to control art. I control what people do and tell you what is art and what isn't art. Mm -hmm. 
I just subscribe to that. So I'm famous for saying that I'd rather be 100% me to be a poor imitation of anybody else. Love the impressionist school of painting, you know. I really, really admire the impressionist the light they capture, um, the the effects, the kind of atmospheric qualities. Because um, what I like about their work too is that uh, they painted things, everyday things, and they painted things around them, which I like. I like the painted things around me, the things I see daily, the things I experience. And it, it, it's a kind of happy thing. You want, you want to do things hanging on your wall that make you feel pleased, make you feel happy. And so I like the impressions because it's, it has a kind of happy effect. And that's the kind of work I, 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 I tend to do. I am a thief on the wall, so I, I tend to, to you know, take, take a word that persons will to bring joy to people's lives and that they will want to, to look at every day and feel pleased. You know?